Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Glor. Let's get up to speed on what hit the feed this weekend. Uh, this five-year-old could be the weather person of the future. Hi, my name is Aiden Kate, and today we'll be introducing snow. Aiden Kate Isaacs of Louisville, Texas, used a comb as a mic and reported on the first snowstorm of the year. Her father recorded it and sent the video to CNN's iReport. Uh, Seattle TV news team took a wrong turn during a recent newscast on dangerous driving conditions. The news van went the wrong way on a one-way street. A do not enter sign, you might notice, is clearly visible as the van turns onto that road. A Tennessee woman fought off an intruder with a vacuum cleaner. It took police 35 minutes to get to her house. A wait, she says, was like a scene from a horror movie. Ma'am, is he in there? <laughs> Budget cuts, we're told, were partly to blame for the delayed police response. Cleopatra is now in Cincinnati. A five-ton, 16-foot statue is part of an exhibit called Cleopatra, the search for the last queen of Egypt. French archaeologists discovered the artifacts near Alexandria. Cincinnati is just the second stop in the world for this massive exhibit. From the Queen of Egypt to the Queens of Cinema, Golden Globe Best Actress winners Natalie Portman and Annette Bening celebrated their wins in style. The two actresses are expected to face off for the Best Actress Oscar. That's what's in the feed this Monday morning. I'm Jeff Glor. Thanks for watching CBSNews.com. I'll see you tomorrow morning on The Early Show.